I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Apply Statistics to Chemistry. All right, so statistics are extremely important in chemistry. Uh, basically, for every scientific experiment, you have to be sure that what you're going to say is true. And to do this, we need to repeat experiments over and over and over and over again. And so we use statistics to help us. Let's use a simple example. Uh, and let's say we wanted to count ladybug spots. And so let's say we went out into the world and we know that it's an option for them to have, let's say, two, four, six, or eight spots. And let's say you walked around for a while in a park and you saw a ladybug and it had four spots, so you're like, okay, I saw one and then you walk around for a while and you see two together that both have six spots um, and then you finish off your day and you, on your way home, uh, see one that has two spots. So if you wrote up a scientific paper or tried to tell someone your results, you'd probably say, well, um, half the ladybugs have six spots, no ladybugs have eight spots, and about a quarter of ladybugs have two or four spots. And this is just inaccurate, right? Because we don't know, uh, we don't really know anything yet. And the reason is that four just isn't enough ladybugs to see to make any, you know, overarching decisions. If a scientist was gonna really do this experiment for some reason, and honestly enough experiments have been done that I bet this has been done at some point, then they would do thousands of ladybugs. They would just go out to hives of ladybugs over different regions to make sure that ladybugs in Southern California didn't have different spot differentials and ladybugs in Northern California. And they would count them for years and you would get a PhD student to make sure that all the data was correct and you'd tabulate it. And maybe at the end of it, your data would look like this. And so this is extreme, right? In this case, the uh, tested almost 4 million ladybugs, which is, you know, over what scientists would do, but it'd be in the thousands. And, and now you can really see the accurate breakdown. You can see that 2.5 million ladybugs had six spots and only 10,000 had eight, and uh, 1 million had four, 50,000 had two. And so now you could actually start to, you know, interpret data and say, okay, if the options are two, four, six, and eight, it's gonna look something like this. Right? And so this is just one way that scientists use statistics. But basically, overall, they have to be extremely careful and make sure you collect enough data. And there's all sorts of statistics math that makes sure that you're collecting the right numbers uh, before you can draw conclusions. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Apply Statistics to Chemistry.